knights into the macro play. Okay, yep, we're in the middle. So I say we try the knights. Let's send that sheep back. Ready to go. Put some more villagers on that ship. More food, more food. Yada yada yada. Let's go take our. Oh, send this one back a little bit. Put on the TC. This is a really nice uh, Green Arabia map. I like it, or Arabia map. So the tree lines are very thick here. Very nice. We're still gonna try to wall this map up a little bit. Just an FYI fam. Oh. Send this guy back on time, hopefully. Okay, Good. Got that back on time. I'm gonna put this one here. We'll get a boar. We'll get a forward boar first. I remember the day, back in the day, like, people would steal boars. You have to be, like, I don't know how to explain it. You just have to be very, like, good with quick and quick when you're doing that. Okay, solid boiler this game. Not having it die. <laughs> Two arrow fire. Good for us guys. Round of applause for Lethal. Clap 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 clap. We're gonna scout a little more of our territory, see where we can wall potential. Our deers are right there, kinda far. We'll make short work of our berries, that's for sure. Put some of these berries in there, just in case. Bring that back. Clear it up, come on, drop the food, drop the food. Boom, 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 we got that. Nice spoiler by Lethal. Let's go. I like it. I like it a lot, guys. We're gonna send. Um, I think we're gonna windmill it again, guys. I, I like the fact that when you windmill it, they finish up the deer a lot faster. And then essentially, you have all your villagers freed up to get kumbaya party everywhere around your town center. We'll build one more villager. Make sure we can get that as fast as we can. Okay. We're gonna buy loom. Then we're gonna send a few on wood. Right off the bat, we do not want to have a short wood income this game. Oh, nope. Hopefully we have enough for next stage. Rip, we do not have enough for next stage. Rip, rip, rip. Rip, rip. There we go, now we have enough. So I'm just going to be looking around where to wall right now. That's kind of my goal with this. And then uh, we should definitely send a few on gold. We do want that early gold, guys, because we're all going to be going to the next stage as fast as we can. So wood and gold will be essential as well. Oh, come on, guys. You know better than just stand around. Get the deer. <laughs> 
Where are the enemies? Uh, they're hiding in planet, planet Saskatchewan, whatever that is. Let's go to the barracks. We're going knights. I kind of want to go knights all in just to practice my all in strategies. I usually like booming, guys. Booming is like a huge thing in my niche when I play this game. So, that's just something I'd like to mention because I'm bringing back the old days in my head. <laughs> thinking about it and stuff okay so i say we don't buy any upgrades we just slowly get ready to go to the next stage we will not be going up as fast as we want to but it's all good it's all good guys we are doing a 21 fast castle usually uh, you do like 23 or 24 fast castle at least that's what i think would be better but oh, let's just send one more gold I feel like we might need the gold more than the food because I have villagers on beers. But we do need wood. We are short on wood at the moment, so let's we need that. Oh, let's build a house. We need to build a house, guys. And then we're gonna stop production if we need to. Okay, these guys are gonna just drop a stable. Hopefully, I get the wood for it. <laughs> Okay, we do not have any other food income, so I'm not gonna build production. Come on, let's drop a stable, guys. Let's drop a stable. Boom, boom, boom. Got a stable. We're gonna have a castle each timing. Way better at this game. It's highly not recommended to stop production, guys. I wanna mention that again. I can't stress it enough. But what else are we gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Rip, notice how I took a villager off of berries to wall. Now we're gonna be in a back conundrum. Sent three villagers. Uh, we got it. Sweet. We got it. We got it. Let's wall up. And then we're gonna drop more stables as we go. Let's go look for our first opponent to kind of harass. Also, we want to drop a farm. Get our food income up as fast as we can. Because without it, we're going to be in a rut. Okay, we found our first opponent. He's walling up a little bit. What is he building? Archer range. Oh, we might get a pick here. Nice. Yep, we got a pick. Nice, free villager pick. Uh, I'll take that any day. Okay, we gotta save up some wood, guys. We want to. Get another stable. He's deciding to fight. Let's pull him off. I want to get another stable ASAP. I should have already built it. But... Let's build some um, friendly. I'm gonna build some friendly. What should I call it? Pikemen. We might need one or two of them. Okay, we cannot support two knights at once, but let's go look for his lumber camp. Look for his, where he's cutting trees. Is he walled already? If he's walled, that's great for him. Why is he going archer range? I'm curious. 
He's walling up. He's walling up. Really nice by him. Oops. Not building military production. Send one knight here. Take care of this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not want that. Let's go see what our other opponents are up to. Send more on gold, guys. We do not have the gold to support this production, so that's another thing. This guy's literally like not able to do anything right now, which is unfortunate for him. I say we drop our first TC real soon. We drop it on this side. Oh no no no, I sent my... I sent these guys, which I shouldn't have. Yep. Which is okay though, we'll be fine. Our, there are center players booming, but guys remember if we get enough knights, we'll be fine. We can always just put some serious pressure. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. We're going to get so many villagers here. This guy's economy. Okay. I say we run into this guy's economy right now. And try and put a hurt on him. And idling time isn't bad, guys, remember. Sure, we're not killing villagers, but idling time is not bad at all as well. Like, idling time is totally okay. Let's see if we can get... Let's go see... Oh, let's pick up this villager. Villager on berries. Okay. Oh, he has a lot of I wanna save up for uh this research here. Let's see if we can take the hill and clean up a little bit there. Which is really good for us. Okay, let's see if we can save up for this research. Oh, I got so many people in one gold pile. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, this guy has so many archers. But we're gonna see if we can okay. keep putting a hurt on his economy. We need to send more on wood. Take off some there. We're gonna build more knights. Um, let's see if we get the chance. Get some more knights. Should probably buy a, uh, what do you call it? By wheelbarrow, as soon as we can. Oh, not that. Okay, let's run around a little bit here. Let's just poke around. Let's go to Orange's base. See if we can harass them a little bit. Get in. Okay, he sent his archers back. So let's just run our way a little bit. We don't want to fight too many archers in the field. I say we go build a TC back here, or so right here. I want to send a few on stone. Notice how purple was booming, but we put so much pressure that it just pays off for us. Oh, I didn't buy that research. Whoops. Rip. Come on, use your mangonel, man. Don't let my archers die for no reason. Blue resigned. What the heck? Maybe that was a disconnect. That could have been a disconnect. Okay, let's try and get into our uh, our macro gameplay here. We're gonna try and like, you know what I mean, guys? We're gonna try to boom a little bit and whatnot. Playing a little sloppy though, so it's okay. Uh, I see. Drop it here. I 
I want some more gold. Stone, I mean. Oh my god. Shit. My bad. I'm losing so many archers for nothing. I want to go to the next age real soon. We're going to fight a little here. Allow this to kind of just play out. We're going to build a forward castle probably. Or maybe it's Prince of Castle actually. I say though, guys, let's see if we can poke around a little bit. We're gonna sit under Yellow's TC. Because we don't really need to worry about that. Like, we don't need to worry about the fact that. Oh shit. Let's build a castle. Hopefully, we can build a castle. Just so we can have our building to go to the next age. We're about to able to go to the next age, guys, real soon. I say we just poke around this guy's base a little bit, see what he's doing. And we're gonna go to town center, like, I mean, go to Imperial Age ASAP. Oh, he has pikemen, whoops. Kind of sent him to a slaughterhouse. Okay, we're gonna go with Paladin. Let's send these guys away a little bit, just to... Um, I'd say just to, like... Kind of... Not let them die. We'll mess up in more numbers. I'm gonna go finish yellow off real quick, and then we're gonna go finish the rest. Okay, he's in an Imperial Age. Might be a good idea. Oh, hopefully these guys fight. No, they're not fighting, Rip. Of course they don't want to fight. <laughs> We're going to send some villagers to build a castle back here. And then we're, we have more than enough, uh, whatchamacallit. We have gold back here, let's go just take his gold. We can definitely build, um... No, 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 that's not what I want. Since we got a next stage, we will buy uh, what you call it. Oh snap! <laughs> collect. We can collect some relics right now. We can buy murder holes. It'd be very important to get murder holes. And then let's buy a cavalry upgrade. Let's do it, guys. Let's just finish off yellow, like I said earlier. We really want to get him off, get him out of the picture, so to speak. So he doesn't like bother us later. Happy squad at the castle. Rip. I don't have enough men to protect this. Okay, 
Uh, I can't save up for Tyler then, or can I? Oh, no, that's not Tyler. Let's go by Paladin, hell yeah, we got Paladin on the way, Gook. We got Paladin on the way, guys, that's what I'm talking about. We're just gonna drop a billion castles. We have more than enough stone to secure this territory with castles. I say we just go explore, we never know where we're gonna find him. This guy's probably cheaply hiding somewhere. I want to make sure I finish off yellow. I don't want to deal with them later. You know what I mean, guys? Like, it's going to be such a pain in the butt. There he is. Let's keep just building castles. We want to buy um, some defensive upgrades as well. We're gonna wait for Paladin upgrade before we march in. Okay, yellow isn't here anymore. Ooh, there's okay. some gold there. There's some stone here. Where's our first relic? Let's take it. Okay, we got Paladin upgrade, almost research. There we go. Let's see if we can fight this. Oh, we shouldn't actually. Because technically he's gonna have that like, advantage over us if we fight that in that like really close closed area he can he can just ballista sh shoot us up so to speak let's go finish off these buildings um, I don't see him anywhere here, so I feel like we're good. Let's send more here. Okay, we'll send these guys here. Let's go collect more relics. What did he say? Go on purple. Well, I'll go on purple. Oh, there he is. Let's send him here. Orange has finally quit. Yellow, we found yellow. Rip. Yellow! Okay, let's attack him. Full on. I think we have enough. Pretty much clearing up his army, yellow's going down, heck yeah. Oh, he has a few. Okay, we could buy spies. Yellow is left. Guys, Frank's castles are OP, man. How many castles do I have in the field? Like, I could build a wall of castles. Just ridiculous. GG, well played. We found Yellow's little last spot. Oh, he has a villager here. Sneaky, sneaky. We go build something for sure.
Blue has some Ballista Elephants, has Pikeman chilling in his base. 3TC boom. TL did pretty good this game. Had Archers, did a forward castle. Plenty of town centers as well. And whatnot. Hey. Good stuff, good stuff guys. GG, well played. I got so many resources banked. Could definitely get rid of some villagers. What's our military count? 47, 50, 49. Cut up it to like 80. And whatnot. Let's take a quick look at the resources. Oh, dang, guys, we peaked this game pretty well. Military wise, we got all starred. Total score, economy, technology, society, definitely plenty of castles on the field. 165 units killed, lost 54. Blue did really well, he didn't lose that much, but he did disconnect, I'm pretty sure, so that's unfortunate for him, which it should count as a loss. A loss for him. We had 50 military in the field, which isn't bad. 65 was the amount that was the highest. Um, for expensive military guys, like 50 is great. But once you like have really good eco, you can go up to like 80. Uh, 24,000 food. Could have probably even beat wood, but we didn't rebuild our lumber camps. That's another thing to remember. And then gold and stone, of course, guys. We were just gold digging it and stoning it up all day. Really good fuel age timing, 934 guys. Look at that castle age timing, way better. Way better this time. And then imperial age timing was not too bad. Not too bad. We definitely halted it because we didn't have cur we didn't have a castle up real fast. So that was just one little thing, but not the biggest thing. And also we were floating a little bit of resources I noticed, but we kind of tried to rebalance our economy as well here and there. So it was good, GG. Well played guys. GG, well played. I did have 150 villagers, so that's kind of solid number. Relic. Gold, we just started to collect the relics. Nine total freaking castles. Holy smokes. Look at the battles, guys. That orange, there were three pretty epic battles. And then Teal had one battle. So my knights were helping out quite a bit. I didn't pay attention to them once, and they were on stand ground. So I, I lost quite a few knights, guys. That's, those mistakes are really bad. They're really costly. They can even cost you a game essentially so uh, it's one thing and then another thing um that's one thing you want to be careful with when you're controlling the military another thing i like to mention guys is once you have two defense upgrades you have plate um barding armor and plate mail armor i'm pretty sure that's what they're called for the uh for the cavalry upgrades for your um cavalry line you do not want to shy away from standing under the town center if you have like five seven eight ten knights like ten Go under the town center. If you have five knights, you can still go under depending on the circumstance. Like, we noticed how yellow had only one TC left. I could send five knights and sit there all day. I'll, I'll have idle timing. So 20 villagers will be in there doing nothing. And if he has extra villagers, they're all going to get killed by my knights. So that's one thing to remember, guys. You have When you have that kind of armor, you can't sit under town centers. And it's really effective. It's really efficient. You get more out of it than you losing those couple of knights. Or if you have 10, you can kill a town center with 10 knights easily. So as long as the, your opponent has no military, just villagers under the town center, you're good. You can just leave those knights there and let them have fun kumbayaing.